Howdy out there everyone. Today I'm going to be looking at this Lars von Trier film, Melancholia, starring Kirsten Dunst, Charlotte Gainsbourg, Alexander Skarsgård, and Kiefer Sutherland. This is a terrific film, a movie that is uh, in many ways uh, easily Lars's best film because unlike most of his other fare, he doesn't just wallow in the muck. Uh, there's, there's a straightforward narrative, it's compelling. I think that um, Kirsten does a great job selling her part, uh, a woman who is clearly morosely depressed. And you learn later why that is. And it's, it's kind of funny how all of the other people around her seem to be in denial about what's about to happen. Um, and you don't get the impression that that sort of pending event is the total reason for her situation, but you certainly understand why it would impact her and of course question why it doesn't impact others until it's clearly too late um but in any case this film is probably one of the most beautiful looking movies i've ever seen there's an opening prologue set to uh some wagner music that is just stunning it is truly uh, just a, an amazing juxtaposition of sound and visuals. Um, and I think uh, the, the other nice thing about it is it's really kind of split into two different films almost, but with enough connective tissue to make the narrative work as a whole. Uh, the first half is really just centering around this wedding that's about to take place. And then the latter half is uh, dealing with the, um, the larger issue at hand. Um, and of course, Kiefer Sutherland, who I'm a big fan of, does a great job at sort of subverting expectations. You, he, on, on first uh, blush, looks like he's basically playing a more muted, uh, in control version of uh, Jack Bauer. He's, he seems to have all of the answers and, uh, you know, is telling people, you know, hey, there's no need to panic. But uh, as you proceed along the narrative, you realize that he, like many others, is just in denial. Uh, and uh, he takes a very interesting turn, his character, that is. Uh, I, I think it's a, a terrific film. I give this movie an A. Uh, it, it's just visually stunning. It's narratively interesting. And um, you can just put it on and just watch the beautiful pictures and, and hear the amazing sound design uh, but you're rewarded on top of that with a coherent narrative that uh, you know I think engages the viewer in a way that um, few Lars films have uh, you know Lars is a, definitely a an auteur and I give him credit for trying things but as I said I think he has a tendency to just be way over the top with his wallowing in the absolute depths of depravity with uh, many of his films. I just, I just don't think it needs to go that far. But you know, that's Lars, and you know, he's an artist. Let him do his thing. Uh, I can be uh, as a viewer. Uh, I can have preferences. And again, Melancholia, I think, is a, is a fabulous film. Uh, you know, he, he should be proud of what he did here. So, on that note, uh, I just want to mentioned this is the uh, blu-ray copy and of course it's got some nice disc art and i think this was like six bucks used i mean it's just a steal because it, again it's got high rewatch value so certainly look this film up and uh but i would definitely advise being um careful with some of the other films because many if not most of them just have such an air of misogyny and uh, just, I don't know, they just, they're ugly, ugly movies, but uh, there's no denying he's a singular voice in cinema, and on that, uh, you know, on that note, I would, you know, give him his due. I think he is a very talented guy, but uh, this is the movie that I prefer to watch, and, and what a movie it is, so take care, everyone. Till the next time.